And hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Light the Candle. We're playing Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Or we're trying. So the problem is we've got this boss, right? And the boss... Well, if you've been paying attention, the bosses otherwise disappeared. This one, not so much. So we're going to come over here, and he's going to be a bastard. Um, it's really funny that everything's moving extremely slowly now. Now, I did switch to fraps because XSplit wasn't recording correctly, but this is pretty hilarious. Um, everything is moving so slow, this might actually save it for us. This might actually make it so the boss is beatable. That would be pretty hilarious. Um, nope, go back to the missile, which is one of these damn things. Oh no, I don't have it on the hotkey correctly. Well, that's just silly. Okay, we're gonna go over here and fix that then. Oops, that's not fixing it. That's not fixing it either. This is fixing it. Yeah, so... That's pretty hilarious. Okay, we'll put... Yeah, that on X. That should be fine. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, they're gonna be extremely slow, which is totally cheating. But you know what? This boss has been such a bastard that I'm actually okay with it. Yeah, so here we go. Boy, if I had known it was gonna be... Wow, Fraps just saved me. And I think the thing is, I'm actually recording at 30 frames per second. And it's actually tied to the frames per second that you see it at. Not just, uh... Not what the uh, system is programmed to do. So... Oh, that hurt. Okay, no problem. No big, no big. But yeah, these guys can't even do anything to me. This is pretty hilarious, all told. Um, oh, missile. There we go. Just bomb the thing. Oh, come on. That was a direct hit. How is that not a direct hit? Okay. Well, these things are trivial to dodge now. He says, as he's almost completely destroyed. But, you know, minor things. Okay, go away, please. You're annoying. You're annoying, too. And heal up, please. Thank you. Um, I will eventually find the missile. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious that it's moving this slow. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Um, I actually recorded the first two episodes, or three episodes, maybe, in Fraps. And I don't remember moving this slow. I don't remember this being a thing. It'd be pretty funny if it's just this boss. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'm still pretty bad at this game. So, you know, there's that. Oh, okay. Well, got it close enough. Okay, so third and final stage. This is totally cheating. But this boss is such a cheater anyway that I really don't care. Um, the rest of you guys might. And for that, I almost apologize. But really? With such a bastard boss? No, this is totally justifiable in my eyes. Because he's such a freaking bastard. Yeah, well, Mr. Missile Man, Laser Man, whatever the hell you are. You are not the boss of me. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, let's see. I need to get that crystal there and the crystal up top. I can totally do that. Crystal up top, whoops, and get zapped by a laser, even though they're moving at 30 frames a second. Okay, just stay nice and frosty. No need to rush. Everything's hunky-dory. Yep, that could have been less cool, but okay. Now die, please. Thank you. And you die. Oh, nope, see, dying is um, what you're supposed to do, not what I'm supposed to do. I realize that's confusing. You know, it's kind of sad that even though I'm basically cheating, I'm having a hard time with this. <laughs> you wouldn't think that'd be the case, but that is nevertheless... Oh, come on, that was... There. That's better. Can you die, please. Get out of my way. Oh, I still have the other crystal to do. 
For some reason I thought I was done. I don't know why I thought I was done. Wishful thinking, I suppose. Okay, you're not gonna hit me. Boy, everything moves so slow now. Oh. He says, and then gets, I'm gonna stop saying stuff like that because that's just not helpful to anybody. Okay. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, that's the wrong. Okay. This might save my life. Maybe. Possibly. That might save my life right there. Okay. Missile away. Whoa. Okay. That's not cool. I'm going to sit right here on top of this. Heal up a little bit. Okay. Vaporized him. He's fine. Still have that other guy to take care of. That other crystal, rather. I can do it from here. Nope. Well, I took care of the snowflake. Oh, man. Please stop doing that, too. Oh, and I got vaporized. Because I was too busy paying attention to the missile. So, yeah. Total cheating scum. Have I mentioned that? Wow, everything's really moving super slow. Let me see if I can boost this a little bit and see what happens. It might get super framey here. Um, no, it's not actually going to work. I can't adjust the capture frames while it's capturing frames. So, this could be interesting. Yeah, that was worth a shot. Okay, so we'll try this one more time. Oh, it was worth doing, but you have to wait until he's fully formed. If he's moving 60 frames a second, it would have just happened, but, you know. Okay, then we'll move right up top here. And move that in. And Bob's your uncle. Second phase, no prob, Bob. Because, you know, Bob's your uncle. That's why no prob, Bob works. Okay. Drop the missile right there. Take care of this snowflake, because he's going to bother me. And take care of that snowflake. Oh, maybe not. No problem, no problem. Just, hey, don't spin like that, because that's messed up. Mostly because it's a pain in the ass to defend. Okay, see, I need to be on their side now. See, that's just annoying. Okay. It's also kind of annoying that the Snowflake missiles can apparently go right through the uh, lasers. But that's just the game not playing by its own rules, I think. Healed up. That's fine. Oops. Do not go directly into the laser. Generally a bad idea. Okay. Drop this in. Should be no prob. There we go. It's funny he doesn't drop any health things, but I suppose that'd be too much to ask. Oh, okay. See, and the problem is that even though everyone else moves slow, I also move relatively slow. So... I'm not able to react at the uh, time that I need to to pull this off very well. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, send the missile around that way. It's fine. Missile's not going to make it, is it? Oh, just made it. Oh, that was so lucky. Okay. Okay, totally blew him up too. Awesome. These snowflake guys are really freaking annoying. Yeah, kind of annoying. Alright, who do I have left? I have the bottom one. Oh, but he moved. Of course he did. Because he always freaking moves. The guy on the side here needs to die. The guy up top needs to be intercepted at the very least. Oh, come on. That was a near hit. That should be close enough. Okay, so I have the top one that I need to take care of. Just drop it right there. Perfect. Collect all of these. Heal up. Avoid all the snowflake missile bastards that are cheaters. Of course, I'm also a big cheater. Seriously, the fraps thing is totally unexpected. Hilarious, but unexpected. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. It didn't hurt. I'll be damned. Oh, come on. That totally should have hit. Oh, man. 
That was close. Oh, he dodged. That was that was a tactical dodge. That was pretty good, actually. I, I have to give him credit for that. Okay, see, my problem is I'm actually moving the ship while I'm moving the missile, and I shouldn't do that. Okay. So, now I just need to take out this guy, and I can totally do that as soon as I have a moment to focus here. Okay, so send the missile away. Oh. Wrong freaking way. Okay, no, no, he turned. God damn it. I just want this boss over with. I'm pretty sure the third phase is the last phase. Just because, you know, that's the way video games work, usually. Usually there's just the three phases. Not always. Sometimes there's four. But it's really rare. Okay, come on. You can totally do this. It's moving like half speed now. No problem. Okay, it worked. It's a total cheater way to do it, and I got something for it. What is this? This is some kind of crystal beam. Cool. Um, I'm assuming it freezes things. Might freeze things. Might just, you know, look pretty. Yeah, saving the game is cheating. Oh, it's a bouncy laser. That could be handy. Being able to shoot around corners. Oh, and it increases in intensity the longer you hold it down. Is it going to blow me up? It might blow me up. Yeah, I was overheating a little bit there. Okay, but yes, you're supposed to aim it just right. Okay, I see. I suppose it'll... No. Okay. So yeah, it'll overheat you, and then you, you know, die. So try not to do that. Die, I mean. Um, also, try to beat the boss genuinely, and you'll see how difficult he was. You saw me die like 16 times to that guy. So it's not just me. Okay, you have to wait for it to cool. That's kind of annoying. Um, that's not it. Oh, that was it. That was it. Damn it. And I missed it. Oh. So close. Okay. Thing is, this requires pinpoint aiming. And then, of course, you can't move. Okay. Cool down. It's alright. Everything will be fine. Oh, come on, you can do this. Trouble is, it floats. It is, after all, a UFO. Why wouldn't it float? Oh, come on. Pin perfect aiming here. There we go. That did it. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, laser dude. Um, laser dude, laser dude. Can do whatever a laser dude can do. That was a bad song. Um, although I should be able to do that. Yes. So if I can bounce around. Probably wasn't expecting that. Whoa, okay. He totally was expecting that. Never mind. Oh, and you guys respawn right on top of me. That's not cool. Oh, and I died. Okay. So the whole reason why I did fraps was not, in fact, to cheat. I wasn't even, didn't even know that was a thing. What I wanted to do was to show you guys the other options of the game. And I think I actually have to do it this way. So exit game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at a save point, so no big. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the other game modes so funny it's slow now um, but I don't think the cinematics will be slow so when I open up Shadow Hunters, it'll do a cinematic and with Fraps we'll actually be able to capture it so let's go ahead and go in we'll do a local game and now we have this beautiful cinematic yeah this isn't slow at all but this is actually what the end game is this is what happens when you finish the game the sun is clear and solar radiation wipes away the darkness blows them all away, cleans up the planet, and hallelujah, hallelujah. But it's not quite over. For the darkness has found refuge on the asteroids. So of course, as the hero, it is your duty to make sure the darkness has no refuge. You must seek it out and destroy it wherever possible. And that means taking a bomb 
and blowing up each one of these asteroids, I should you not. Um, so yeah, that was a beautiful little cinematic. Cinematic, I like that. Um, so we can go ahead and do this, but it's going to be slow, and for some reason my ship is really bugging the hell out. It's really weird. Um, so we'll go ahead and try this, though it only really works in, with more than one player. Um, yeah, I'm going to teleport away and go straight to the asteroid. Um, dum -dum -dum. Although I don't know how many asteroids there are. This might just be infinite mode because, you know, it's multiplayer and you probably get bonuses for clearing asteroids. I don't know. It's a neat idea anyway. Um, yep, there's my ship. And this is the bomb right below me. Hi, bomb. So you need to grab onto it and then haul ass, basically. Um, so each one of these maps seems to be unique. Each time I go through it, it's slightly different. Um, the thing why this requires multiple people, that was my button there, okay, is because the enemies are bullshit, basically. Um, they take like 30 sh hits to take. So, of course, it's better if you have somebody, yeah, come here, have somebody else take care of the bad guys to escort you, and then you carry the bomb straight through. Um, of course, I do not have that option. Do not shoot the nuclear weapon, I think is a valid thing not to ask me to do. Gods, die, die, die. Wow. Okay, shooting the nuclear weapon actually isn't going to make it detonate, I don't think. Now you can lose the bomb. Um, and you ask, how can you lose a bomb that big? Well, if you die, it's lost. Um, basically, if all the players die, it's lost. Um, fortunately, this is moving slow enough where I actually feel like I might have a possible chance of being able to do this. Now, that's not, let's not get crazy. I mean, anything's possible, but probably not this. Um, and I don't actually know how deep it's supposed to go. Oh, that's a gun. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Whoa, hello, guys. Um, I'm only here for the nookie. Um, the nookie. Only here for the nookie. I forget the rest of the lyrics. Oh, come on. Just, there we go. My aim is still terrible, no matter what speed I'm going. Let's just call that as a given and move on. Um, okay, okay, so these guys can actually attack the bomb. I don't actually see a health bar, so I don't know how that works, because I'm an ignorant, ignorant player. Just die. Okay, I thought there was another guy down here. This is another thing multiple players will be able to do, is go ahead and scout ahead of you and make sure everything's clear, and you have a straight run for the core. And then, of course, you can blow stuff up. Um, as a single player, though, this is significantly more challenging, um, especially as you get deeper. Um, and, of course, you only have the one weapon. Now, of course, you could just try to run for it, but I really don't recommend that. Um, though these guys might actually be dumb enough to let me do that. Yes, yes, they are. Okay, I think I want to keep going down. Okay, yeah, this is entertaining, I'm sure. I get them while they're small, they just die in a hit. Um, I have to be able to hit them, though. That's the that's the trick. The rub, as Hamlet would say. Um, shoot, man. Shoot, that's what, exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to shoot. There we go. There we go. I am the greatest. Let's not get crazy. I am subpar at best. But that's okay, because we cleared the path. And that's the only thing that matters. Okay, that's a hive of scum and villainy right there. Um, huh. Yeah, you saw me. I knew you were going to see me. Fortunately, you're too big a target to miss, and you also feel like eating the bomb for some reason. Oh, no, that is totally a health bar there, the green and the red. I see that now. Um... That's fucked up. Um, we're all gonna die. We might explode. That might actually be a thing that happens. Okay. Close. Not exploded yet. 
It's strange they're attracted to the bomb. Yet another reason to hang back and let your friends clear the way. I don't have any friends, though, so... There. Okay. We're gonna move back up, thank you. I guess I could clear the path first, and then bring the bomb, but I think these guys will respawn. I'm pretty sure, because that's usually the way it happens. Oh, and of course, the game will zoom out, because I have to keep the bomb in, uh, in sight at all times, which is pretty hilarious. I don't actually know which way I'm going. Um, and this sounds more and more like it's going to explode any minute, doesn't it? It's making that chirping sound that really usually means I'm bomb and I'm about to explode. And yeah, that definitely has less of a health bar. This might be a suicide mission, folks. Hope you wrote your will. Hope you uh, told your family that you love them. I hope all of these things, because in order to make sure the darkness does not corrupt any more planets, we're all going to die. I'm sorry. Or possibly... Possibly not. Or no, this is actually the place where we wanted to be. This is the center of the, uh, of the asteroid. I think now all I have to do is get out, or do I actually have to guard it before it, uh, before it explodes? I don't actually know. I've never made it this far. Um... It's possible I'm supposed to take the other path now? Let me see if it lets me take this. Yes, I can, in fact, take it. Huh. Well, now I'm just confused. Um, yeah, uh, I thought it was going to blow up. It didn't. So I guess we take the path to the right? I guess? Sure, we'll go this way. Um... Oh, hello guys. Um, this? This isn't a bomb. Why would you think this is a bomb? That's just crazy talk. This is a um, darkness o meter. It, uh, it actually measures how much darkness there is in an area, and then it, um, well, then it blows up. Um, really, I mean, what were you expecting? Uh, shoot. That's what I'm doing. I'm shooting. I don't know why shoot has suddenly turned into my... Uh, my curse word of the uh, the day, year. Oh, okay, sure. I, these things are invulnerable to fire, I suppose. Oh, now they're all gonna just yeah. Okay. Oh, now they're not invulnerable. Okay, so I need to wait till they turn light. That's unlike anything else I've seen, but it's possible I just haven't gotten there yet. Fortunately, they're more than content to run straight into my bullets. So if you just continue to do that while I circle strafe you, that'd be great. One more left. Come on, just run right into the bullet, please. Or be attracted to the bomb. Either way, I'm good. This might actually be... Oh, hello. Um, this might actually be the place I'm supposed to leave it. Which is why these guys are being bastards. Um, yeah, okay. It's like playing um, Space Invaders. A little bit. A little tiny bit. Around the edges. Maybe through the middle. Um, okay. There we go. There we go. Just don't die, because really they're moving in such predictable patterns, it'd be really embarrassing. Okay, so if you hit them in the front, they die faster. Otherwise, they require two hits. Um, it's also kind of disconcerting that I can't see them right now. Okay, good. I took care of him. Yeah, the bomb taking focus is definitely problematic. Oh, hello. Um, I'm shooting you, but you're not a thing. Oh, I think I'm supposed to take the, uh, take the bomb here. And place it in the center. Yep. A oh, bomb shield acquired, so it's not actually done yet. Well, okay. Don't know where I'm supposed to take it now, though. Maybe back down the other way? There's nothing there. So I don't want to go that way. I wonder if this will tell me. It did. Then, yeah, the arrow. Just like in single player. Who would have thunk it? Okay. 
Um, but not that way. I think I'm supposed to take this up and to the right if I follow this map thing. Map thing, yes. Strange device that tells me where I am and where I need to go. Very odd. That might have actually been an optional area so that you get more uh, neat little shiny toys. Um, okay, the bomb shield went away awfully fast, didn't it? I really expected it to stick around for longer. Okay, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Yep, that hurt. But only a tiny bit. And really, I can outrun all of these guys. Because they're painfully slow. Um, there seems to be... A thing over to the left here. I don't know what that yellow sign means, but I'm sure it's important. Hey, 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 that's mine. Don't. Give. Give. Good. Oh, hello. Um, bomb's about to go off, isn't it? Bomb's going to go off. This is gonna happen. I don't know if you guys hold any hope for there to be a possibility of me making it to the end here, but, um, don't. Because it's not gonna happen. Oh, I see. There's an upgrade over here. Um, no. Yeah, the bomb's gonna go off. <laughs> That's just a thing. It's gonna happen. There's just, there's no getting around that. Um, I could fight these guys, but really I'm kind of curious to see what happens when the bomb goes off. Because I've just died before, but I've never actually had the bomb go off. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Was it deep enough? I doubt it was deep enough. I probably just vaporized. Results. Results. Team score. Zero. Yeah, just, just zero, huh? Bomb depth score. Come on. 46 meters, really? That's it? Asteroid bonus zero, because the asteroid didn't bomb. That's probably not a great score. Um, yeah, we'll just leave to the lobby, sure. Um, there's also another game mode here. Lantern Run. Basically the same thing as Bomb Run with one significant difference. Um, we'll just go ahead and jump in here. So, this is kind of reminiscent of the... Um, shoot. What's the name of the big bad in Magicite? The Creeper or something like that. Anyway, the idea is to outrun it. You can try to stay here and fight, because like it says at the bottom there, destroying enemies adds bonus points. But let's not get crazy. It's better just to run and see how far you can get. Um, you can, well, you can shoot the wall, but it's not going to do much. Um, you're really better off oh, grabbing some random upgrades like that one. Um, shield upgrade will actually help me live a little bit longer. Um, but then every once in a while you'll come up against a wall like this one, which you can't get through, so you need to shoot all the bad guys in order to convince the wall that, you know, maybe it's not the best time to suddenly manifest. Of course, then all the bad guys show up yet again. Okay, this is just because it's a target-rich environment, right? It's not because I'm getting any better at my shots. Yeah, seeing as how I can't seem to hit these guys... And they're practically a broadside of a barn. Oh, holy. Sure, just go ahead and spawn right on top of me. That'd be fantastic. Except for, you know, not being fantastic at all. That's okay. I can do this. Maybe not in time to, you know, not die to the tentacular horror that is approaching. And believe me, that is not the way I want to go. Um, I don't want to go at all, actually. I want to live forever. That is my plan. My plan is to live forever. Might not be realistic, but it's my plan. Okay, so, now that I've done that, are you going to let me go? Yes, yes you are. Though you're going to be a bastard about it and blow my lantern all the way over here. But that's okay, I picked it up and we're running. We are running so hard and so fast, oh, and we're fucked. We're fucked. The, uh, the rocks, they're all in the way. Oh no, wait. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're, we're free. We're free. We might be able to outrun the tentacular horror after all. 
that is horror, not horror. Particular horror is another. That's at least you know an extra fifty dollars. Um, we're running. I didn't even know there was possible to get another shield upgrade, and I apparently can't pick up anything to save my life. Oh, hello. That is my lantern, and I would appreciate it if you did not shoot it. I'd also appreciate it if you did not shoot me, but you know, details. Okay, that's going to move me down. That's fine. I can go down. Down, down, down. Do we do, 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 down, down. This is a little trickier, but steam's off for now. Yeah, this would be a lot trickier if I was going at full speed, wouldn't it? Oh, these guys are bastards. You're just going to stay there, aren't you? Okay, I can move to my gun and convince you to go upwards, maybe. Possibly. I've never seen you before, so I don't know what your trick is. Um, I don't know what your trick is. I can't actually move you at all. Um, oh, 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 I want my lantern. Don't put out my... Oh, he's going to put out my lantern, then I'm going to die. Yep, all lanterns were extinguished. That's it. Once lantern extinguished, the particular horror just takes it as red. That sh that means you want to die, so then it kills you. Very uh, nice that it follows the rules, but you know, death. So yeah, total distance. Well, I got farther than I got in the last one, but you know, friends would definitely help here. They'd be able to battle with you. Um, theoretically bad guys would increase with more guys but whatever it's okay I just wanted to show you guys that since um, last episode is really really short or no not last episode no last episode was fine this episode was kind of short only a little bit though um, and I feel like if I had continue with playing the game on half mode it would be kind of um, scummy <laughs> really I swear it wasn't this slow. I don't remember it being this slow. It's kind of hilarious. Um, let's go ahead and look at the the movies. Sure, let's go ahead and look at the movies here. So the Attract movie. Oh, this is the one we saw at the beginning. Maybe? No, I have no idea what this is. This is just some kind of promo. Oh. Yeah, you can see what it's like when there are more than one person playing. And we saw that boss. We did not see that boss. We've never been there. We did, just did that. Uh, I have no idea what that is. That's one of the cinematics. Uh, we you saw that one. Um, we did not see that. I don't remember it anyway. We saw that. Um, we did not see that at all. There's a lot more to this game. Um, that's more than it can be possibly covered in five days. Who would have thunk it? We saw that. Those guys are annoying. And this one, which is actually kind of interesting boss. And that, we didn't see. That's a bastard. Okay, yeah. Just a promo. Nice little promo. Shadow Planet Productions, huh? Could have sworn it was made by somebody else, but alright. Um, opening cinematic, we saw Teleport Shadow Planet. Let's look at the artifact level 1, since, you know, we got the artifact. Oh, that's right. This is what it showed us when we first collected the artifact, didn't it? Okay. That's it. We've seen all the other ones. Let's look at the concept art. Concept art 2. Okay. That's pretty. Um, concept art 5. Okay, we'll just jump to the ones I have unlocked. That's nice. Huh. Okay. That's probably a boss we haven't seen yet. That's the snow world. Where we totally scummed. Oh, that's a nice shot of the spaceship. That's pretty cool. And then we're back to concept art 2. Yeah, so I've been terrible about actually unlocking the concept art. Um, but I dare you guys to do better. I know you guys can do better. What achievements have I made? Probably nothing. Since it won't let me select it. Yeah, I'm pressing the A button and nothing. Um, it's possible because I have the Steam Overlay turned off, and of course it would jump me into the Steam Overlay, so there's that. Um, the options menu, let's do the Total Biscuit thing, huh? So if we go to the settings, and oh my god, these controls. So th this is what I'm talking about when I'm doing the missiles, okay? These controls. So to do this, I press up, right? If I turn 
if I just press left, that's what happens. The arrow went all the way over to the left. If I want to actually hit brightness there, I have to dial it to the left. Or dial it up from the left, actually. And then dial it around all the way around. Just pressing right, left, up, down. That's the result there. I actually need to rotate in order to get there. So when I'm doing the missile, and I'm rotating, you know, spinning all the way around because I don't know where the hell I'm going, that's why. It's these controls. They're not terrible. They're not awful. But they take a lot of getting used to. And I'm not. So there's that. So let's look at the brightness. Yeah, whatever. Vibration, I always shut vibration off. I hate vibration in video games. Um, the only thing I think I turned it on for was Ocarina of Time, but that's because it was required. Everything else, I shut it off. Music volumes, which I think only has the one slider. Yeah, sound effects volumes the same. So advanced settings. What do we have in advanced settings? Not a whole lot. Um, yeah, I mean, I always turn depth of field off because I don't like feeling motion sick. But otherwise, not a whole lot here. Um, controls, I think, are actually rebindable. Um, yeah, but I can't imagine playing this on keyboard. Uh, Xbox 360 controllers are rebindable, I think. Though for some reason it didn't actually go to that, did it? It didn't. That's funny. Huh. Oh, no, there we go. No, it's not rebindable. <laughs> just tells you what they do. Well, it is the ex it is a controller, so I don't actually expect too much. All I want is controller support in these type of games. Okay, so since this is the last episode in this particular run, we're going to look at the credits. And I want to say thank you to you guys who stuck with this and watched me scum. Because, you know, I am total scum. These guys aren't, though. You guys should check out this game. It's actually pretty fun. Just because I'm terrible at it doesn't mean it's not a good game. It is actually pretty fun, and there's a lot of stuff that we didn't get to. All we got to was the snow world, and, of course, we didn't even rescue the sun. The sun is still totally its own little, well, insanely twisted shadow version of itself. It's a shadow sun, not a shadow planet, but I could see where they wouldn't necessarily want the alliteration in the in the title. Um, especially since the planet is, in fact, also insanely twisted shadow because, you know, the sun is totally coated in darkness, which makes everything coated in darkness. So, yep, this came out, well, three years ago as of this recording. But it's still good. You should pick it up. There's a link in the description below for Steam. I'm going to let this uh, rotate now in relative silence. No, who are we kidding? I'm going to babble at you for a little while. Um, so the next game I'm going to play, I don't actually know what it's going to be yet. Oh, and we're done. Okay. Well, so that's it then. I'll leave it on that. I was going to tell you all the games that I have in my Steam list, but screw it. We're done. All right. We're out. I'm Peace of the Universe. You're a Peace of the Universe too, whether you know it or not. And this has been Light the Candle for Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. And I will see you guys next time.